Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about using DHCP for uh, dynamic IP address allocation for Ubuntu Linux virtual machine. So uh, I hope you know about DHCP. DHCP is uh, nothing but dynamic host control protocol. First let us try to understand about the dynamic uh, a host control protocol and its function so in this uh, uh, exercise or in this uh, uh, video we are going to uh, see uh, uh, we are going to have two vms uh, one configured as dhcp server <coughs> and another as dhcp client and in the dhcp server we are going to configure an address pool uh, starting from 40 uh, so address ranging from 40.0.0.2 to 40.0.0.50 uh, 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 we are going to configure uh, the DHCP server on the interface ENP0S9 uh, which is uh, with IP address 40.0.0.1 uh, so after which uh, we will uh, uh, we'll be actually uh, connecting the uh, uh, line uh, with another VM uh, and uh, basically we would enable the DHCP client on that uh, interface in p 0 s 9 and uh, uh, once we enable that so uh, the DHCP IP request will go from DHCP client to the DHCP server and server will uh, uh, allocate an address from its address pool probably 40.0.0.2 or 3 based on the availability it will send the IP offer to the client and client will receive the IP address and it, and it will configure its uh, interface ENP0S9 okay so coming to ENP0S9 and coming uh, uh, how to bring up uh, uh, one more VM in a same laptop I had uh, uh, I had an uh, given another video probably you can take a look on that so uh, which will clearly explain how to bring up a new VM additional VM in the same uh, system uh, up, uh, and make a connectivity <coughs> so basically the expectation is you should have uh, two VMs that are actually connecting uh, should be able to ping together uh, and then uh, uh, try this exercise okay let's get into the uh, steps uh, first uh, step is going to be <coughs> you have to install the uh, server so the command to do that is sudo apt install isc dhcp server so uh, let me get into my linux system sudo apt install isc dhcp server so i have already installed so uh, so there is nothing newly installed now so that's going to be the first step let's get to the second step uh, so we have to uh, configure the uh, configuration file for the DHCP server uh, which means actually uh, we have to configure a uh, address pool so as I had mentioned we are going to configure uh, the address pool uh, from the subnet 40.0.0 uh, which is a class C network uh, and uh, we can give a range of IP addresses I have uh, given like 40.0.0.2 to 40.0.0.20 uh, it can go all the way up to 254 uh, uh, PCC it can serve up to 254 PCC <laughs> and uh, you can give a server I have given a name server also which is 127.0.0.3 and then uh, uh, and uh, 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 the uh, configuration file let us uh, open the configuration file so the way to the bottom and then uh, make this configuration uh, save this so I had uh, given uh, domain name server different IP and then option routers as different IP that's okay so uh, that's not a important thing at the moment we are uh, very much bothered about the IP address allocation not the name server or the gateway at the moment you can give anything uh, as we are doing one just a test for demo purpose okay so exit quit so uh, we are done with that so we'll go to the next step next 
step is going to be configuring the DCP server on a particular interface. So uh, uh, let's see uh, the interface in the server. So I have NP0S3 which is uh, what is the uh, main interface through which I am getting my internet connectivity. I am not going to disturb that. I have created a new interface by name ENP0S9 and uh, I have configured uh, the IP address 40001 in case if you are wondering how to configure so I just sudo IP config ENP09 0s9 and then give the IP address 40.0.0.1 and make it up. It's not like it. So it's done. So this is one. And then uh, you have to enable this uh, interface, uh, enable the server in this interface in a particular configuration file which is located in sudo win etc defaults. come uh, to this location where it says interfaces uh, v4 is equal to it will be blank in that uh, line you have to configure the interface upon which you want to configure the uh, DSP server in my case I'm going to run the DSP server on this uh, interface ENP0 S9 and I'm going to say quit that's all from the DSP server side uh, so let's uh, actually refer these steps as well. So once we are done this, so we have to uh, restart the DSP server. Uh, so let's do that as well. So sudo system ctl restart ISC server. It's done. Uh, we can check to check whether it is running. active and running so my server is ready so let us go to the uh, client now so which is the next pc i have post one which is uh, connected i have brought that up having an IP address through DHCP so I'm going to uh, release it so that uh, I can demonstrate to you ENP0 S9 now there is no IP address because I have uh, removed the IP uh, by releasing the IP uh, that I have obtained so now uh, I, I can uh, 
uh, enable the DA here in the client this is going to be the client so I want to enable the DCP client on this particular interface and the command to do that is actually let's refer the steps as well so that is clear to us we have done the restarting of the DCP server uh, we have now brought up the next VM we are going to enable the uh, DCP client on the interface ENP0S9 as per this uh, command so the command to do that is sudo dh client ENP0S9 yeah so it is done so let's see the uh, whether it has uh, obtained the IP address yes it has the obtained the IP address from the DACP server and the new IP address is 40.0.0.3 so this is the dynamically assigned IP address from the DHCP server so let's try to ping the uh, server which is present in this IP uh, which is 40.0.0.1 and the ping which is successful means it is uh, able to connect to the DHCP server perfectly so in case if you want to release the IP address you can do that using this same command which I have done earlier sudo dh client minus r enp 0 s 9 so it will actually uh, remove the IP address that you have uh, uh, obtained from the DHCP server and you can uh, again get the same DHCP server uh, you can get the get back the IP address on the uh, interface using the this command sudo dh client ENP 0 S9 and which will get you the IP address again. So yeah, so let's uh, also refer the steps. Uh, dynamic IP address is now located. Uh, it can be released using sudo dh client minus or ENP 0 S9. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Like this video, like, share subscribe in case if you have any uh, challenges in any of these uh, steps uh, feel free to put your comment in the video thank you bye